Gunner's boat. Matt gets it. Good evening. My name's Wayne. Some of you may have seen me before. I hope so. I've been kicking around Hollywood a long time. I made a lot of pictures out here. All kinds, and some of them have been westerns. There's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. A western. A new television show called Gunsmoke. No, I'm not in it. I wish I were, though. Because I think the best thing of its kind has come along. I hope you agree with me. It's honest, it's adult, it's realistic. When I first heard about the show Gunsmoke, I knew there was only one man to play it, James Arness. He's a big young fella, and maybe new to Sue. I worked with him, I would think he'd be a big star. So you might as well get used to him, like you had to get used to me. Now I'm proud to present my friend James Arness in Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke starring James Arness as Matt Dillon. I try to remember that if you argued a little, they might not be sh- here. Arguing doesn't doesn't feel any grease. Take me, I'm a U.S. Marshal. How many times I'd rather have argued than gone for guns? Take the city city over there, Gomorrah or the plains they call it. Jump off spot. People coming and going all the time. Good, bad, and worse. Temper's high. Man draws his gun quicker to prove a point. You draw on his logic. That's where I come in, whether you like it or not. When you draw your gun, somebody's going to be around. Somebody on the law side. A law knows they hate that. Dan, it's me, bird. Dan Grant. Dan, open it up. It's a lot, Dan. You've been reading hard. Pretty hard, bird. You wouldn't like, want, you won't like what I come to tell you. Want a drink? You died, Dan. Lay there and bled to death. A man deals crooked cards to me. Don't matter how hard he dies. Give him a chance to draw. That's not it. What you, you're not going to like is what? What? He was not armed, Dan. Hello, Mr. Chester. Hello, here, Mr. Jessica. Welcome back. Of all the time you should have taken. Of all that time you should have taken. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of late. I'm five miles to Fort Dodge. I'm five miles back. I figured the time you were gone. I must have travelled about two miles an hour. Well, Major Tonkum kept me waiting for close to three hours. Why didn't you ever leave? Why didn't you leave the wanted persons with the first sergeant? Well, you told me to leave him with the Major. I should have explained. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Dillon. Me and the others f- and the first sergeant spent close on three hours enjoying a couple of trees as suitors. I trust when I came to it, the major didn't mind waiting. Huh? No, it was me they were waiting for Mr. Dun- me and the first sergeant. You see, when I got there, never mind, Tester. It doesn't matter. I've all been a pretty hot day. A hot? There's not even a word for it. Going back from Fort Dodge, my old snick was so much. Marshal Dillon here. Jim Hill, Marshal from Anna Moreno. How do you do? This is Chester Goody. Put it on your chair. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man, Marshal. Phoning Dan Grant. Do you know him? No. Well, I was, he's coming here. He told me one of his girls in Anna Moreno. Told one of his girls in Anna Moreno. He was. I'll wait for him. You're waiting for any special reason? Hmm, kind of special. Murder. Murder? The man's about as ruthless as a killer there is. I don't know how many killings he's done at of Texas, but he shot three men in El Arimo. Two of them had in a fair fight. He made a mistake for the last one. You see, Grant didn't know at the time that a man was even armed. Was a murdered man a friend of yours? No, I didn't know him. Some gambler. Why are you taking it on yourself to chase this Grant? I thought maybe you heard of me, Marshal. I'm a sheriff of Arendo. Oh. Well, I've been, I've been some time since I was in Moreno. Now, you say this Grant didn't know that the man wasn't armed, and he wasn't, and that he's running, for, what's he running for then? Well, he found out after we shot, after he sh- shot him. That's fine time. They say it shamed him, shooting an unarmed man. The one thing about Grant Marshall, you know, coward. You're not what? You're not one small part of a coward. 
He just likes to go after a man and gun him down. Oh, let's tell you. Oh, let me tell you something, Marshal. Dan Grant's not very well known. He's about as far handy as a gun as anyone in state of Texas. Men have seen him say the fastest they ever saw, bar none. That'll be make you pretty good if you don't play him then. Will it, Sheriff? That's not the point, isn't it? I help you I'll help you take him, Sheriff. No you won't. I come here to tell you what I was doing in Dodge Cat, Marshal. I don't they need your help. Why take a chance? Well I'm pretty good to myself, I'm not afraid of him. Alright. If you run into him first, save him for me. I hate to have made a ride up here for nothing. Well, I not quite, didn't quite sh- make him out, Mr. Dillon. Well, Sheriff, he all is like a lot of people, Chester. He's too proud, too confident in himself. I will get him into a lot of trouble someday. Maybe sooner than that. You can buy another. Then come on over. Sure, I'll buy another on you. You won't play me for those beers. Or later, now. What do you want, Matt? Do you know? You may be, or maybe fishing. I like to fi- fish more than I do. But it's about what I figured. At least you could take me along once in a while. Oh, did, I did take you ashore two or three months ago. I like a fishing, Matt. Next time I get a day off with fish, good. And give me plenty of time to get ready. And tell me over at the bar that you're Marshal Dillon, that's right. Well, I just rode into town, Marshal. You're the first man I want to see. Any particular reason? Well, it's like this. I'm kind of free and easy in my ways. Well, sometimes people just don't understand. Don't understand what? That they shouldn't try to stop me. Nobody's trying to stop you, mister. You can do it. You can do anything you want. Sort of breaking the law. Well, it's a law I'm talking about, Marshal. Sure, well, what? Then say it, play, Mr. Stranger, sure. I'll get into a fight. Oh, yeah, I'll kill somebody. I don't want any no trouble about it. That's plain enough. Where are you from? Texas and Moreno. Yeah. How do you know, the Sheriff Jim Hill? He's here waiting for you, Grant. Where is he? Well, he's probably in there, here for a while. Why don't you wait for him? Where he'll find him, he'll find himself. And then after I do, we'll talk about those some time, Marshal Grant. But what is it, Marshal? No beacon in the law here. It includes resisting arrest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you explain that to me later. But over a drink. Oh, for your sake. You see, I want to kind of have so good with a gun. I'm sure, Sheriff. You won't never. It must mention it to you. Friend of yours, Mr. Grant Dillon? It was Dan Grant. I don't think he ever heard of you, man. It was? Go and find the Sheriff telling me Grant's in town. Try to dodge house and parry. It says, sir. Uh, what are you going to do about it, Matt? Well, I've been asked out for of it. Asked out of it. There's not much I can do. Not yet. He's a killer, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I guess I'd better sit down and finish the beer with you. You don't look like being being able to do anything about it, do you? Outside, Mr. Dillon. Grant found the sheriff. Is they're down in the street. Stay here, all of you. Matt, it's not. It's not your worry. Stay inside. Keep me. Keep telling you, sheriff. You want me? You're gonna, you're gonna come take me. I'm taking you, Grant. You have to walk right, walk right up to me. Not coming to you, Mister Dillon. The sheriff played dressed her. Well, closer than that, sheriff. A lot closer. If you want to want me, I'm coming right up to you. But either you turn around and throw down your gun, or I'm coming right up to you. You 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 come up, Sheriff? Yes, reckon, reckon now. Sheriff's reckon now. Keep telling you. Keep telling everyone. Not no, Mr. Dillon. You're faster than you been. Don't do it. Been inspecting you. Come closer if you want to talk to me, Marshal. I'll warn you about your resist to resist. You drew first. But he isn't the second or third man I killed. What drew first? Jim Hill was a lawman. He was here to arrest you for murdering an unarmed man in Miranda. I don't know what the man, didn't know that the man was unarmed. Your mistake, you killed him, you killed him. Even if you had a gun on him, I could kill, I could kill anybody. Like you, right now. There you see, Marshal, see how easy it is. Well, one more of those can't, can't hurt. Probably won't help, they can't hurt. 
Well, how, how is he then? Well, how can I tell? Can't, hell, I can't tell here. I can't tell. I can't tell you yet, Chester. Can you tell me, Kitty? If you tell you, I could tell you. I could. I could tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I see, Doc. Can't you do something? Something, Chester. I mean, something better than ever been that, that you've been doing. He was hit in the chest and it ceased. Not the thought crease took on the forehead. You know what damage it did. It comes to and not before. I am doing everything I can for him. I know you couldn't, you couldn't, you do just a little bit more than a fraction of an inch, he'd be dead. Now as he may be alright in the ten days, well, who knows, I don't. You want us out of here, don't you, Doc? Thank you, Kitty. Thank you. Come on, Chester. Doc, yes, 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 I want you to kill Grant. I still do. Well, you weren't, that wouldn't help a thing. It's a terrible thing to see a man like Mr. Denham get shot that way. I'll buy you a drink, Chester. If Mr. Dunham dies, I'll get a gun, get me a gunshot. I'll kill Grant and blow him in half. Let you see how fast he is. Just so you get it, you, will you get Cutty? Kitty, so take him out of here. Come on, Chester, I'll go. I just hate to think of Grant staying in some bar bragging how he shot down the US Marshal. Now, welcome in. How is he, Doc? Fine. Nice to have you stood by. by. Well, here's your answer. Well, I'm going to make you some soup or something. But I thought I'd come by and see what you wanted first. Well, I was hoping somebody would come up and save me from Doc's cooking. Doc's cooking kept you alive for more than a week. Kill me. Doug. But it. Kill me. But it kept me for him alive. Beginning to look human. How much longer will he be in bed? Oh, about five days tomorrow to, to do it. Hmm, keep us in, Matt. You shouldn't dare. You shouldn't dare go out with the... Till Doc says, I oh, hear Grant killed Frank Seth. Yes, he slammed him and then shot him down like that. Slapped him. Grant has got close to him. As close as I am to you. And that herd boss. One who came back to town to see if an outfit could stay here. Same thing. He walked up to him. Pushed him in the chest and made him draw. Then he killed him. Then where, where he did? When he did? Kitty, get out of here. Go away. Why? I've got to get up. I've got to start walking around. Now, just you wait and wait a minute, Matt. You're not thinking of facing Rat Dan Rat Grant again. Don't worry. I'll hand him. You're not going anywhere, Matt. I never thought I'd have to say this to you, but you're a dead man. And if you try him again, he's faster than you. Well, your head. What you heard what she said, and you she's right. You just get let me get, get me walking, Doc. That's all I ask. Man, up to the street so he can't see me, see you. Well, I walk to the mall today. Tomorrow I'm free, uh, free. The next day, by the end of the week, I'll be off your hands. Mm. When do you, whether you walk or don't. All right, someone's going to walk with you. Might as well be me. Where is your gun, Marshal? Leave it. Leave it at home. Oh, you just remember me. I don't shoot on our men. Oh, I hope you get we'll get well soon, Sheriff. Most so, Marshal. Ah, oh, you and me, we we shouldn't have been made had no trouble. Oh, I don't want anything except the left, left alone. Today, whenever I feel like ever, don't do it, man. Don't don't do it. I mean, you strangled nearly over a week ago. But you're still not ready to go out and fight. And Chester's going to go get back this time. Uh, no match for Dan Grant, where you were competitively well. Well, I figured things even up this time. Huh? What's off the autopsy? It's still pride with you, isn't it? Just pride. Someone came into town who's faster than you, and you're just going to gonna try he isn't, prove it isn't. Oh, you're not going to prove it, because he is. Now, wait a minute, Doc. I don't want, I don't want a minute. You go in down and you and you, you get yourself killed, just because of your pride. He has to be eliminated. Ah, uh -uh. all right, all right. Go, go in. Go on. Just go down there and meet him. I blasted you last time. You were lucky. You lived. This time you'll do it, Mister Dillon. Clock over to the Dodge House. Said Dan Grant's still in the British room, Mister Dillon. Can I sort of 
can I just sort of follow? I'll see you later, Marshal. Which room is Dan Grant? Uh, up there, at the end of the balcony. Come out of your room, my Grant. It's me, Marshal Dillon. I will go on. I'll come and get you, Grant. Come here, Marshal. Coming down to talk to you. Just stay here, that's right. Now turn around and get drop your gun belt. Then come down. And now, Marshal, ain't no reason why I come down here. There, yeah, and talk about things over with you. I told you stay there. I told you I'd like, like to be left alone. I said stop and turn around. I drop your gun belt and then come down. I'm going to hand it to you, Grant. No fast I've ever, ever seen. But you've got to be close. So close you can't miss. You can't take time to aim and shoot straight. Well, you're wrong. You know it, Marshal. All right, Marshal. I'll give up. I told you now, Marshal. Well, you shoot a man with my hand, hands up, would you? Just coming down here and surrender. It's close enough. Ah, oh, Marshal, give me myself up. You and me... You take one more step and I draw. Don't matter. I'm close enough now. 